Our music is finally in tune. I think we're on the same page now. I'm glad we are here, Bianca. Please tell your father thank you. It's nice to see your brother Petruccio and his sister Catherine. I invited Hortensio and his girl, who's a widow, to come have dinner with me. Can you have dinner with me? That's all we ever do is sit down and eat. How is Pat doing so kind? That's the only thing he is good for is being kind. I wish that was the whole truth. I think Hortensio is scared of his widowed girlfriend. When I'm afraid, then you shouldn't trust me. No, that's not what I meant. I think Hortensio is afraid of you. It's smart of him to be afraid of me. It's normal to be afraid when you're married to someone like you are. Wow, you're blunt. Are you that rude? That's what I conceive by him. What does Hortensio think about that? My girl says she made it all up. Well said. I think he deserves a kiss, girl. What you just said? What does it mean? I meant your husband is troubled by you. He compares my husband's sadness to the trouble that you give him. That's what I meant by it. You're terrible. <laughs> I'm not as terrible as you. To give you the satisfaction, I think I'm better than you. You tell her, Kate. You say it, girl. I think my girl Kate wins the argument. That's my business. Spoke like a true soldier. I'll drink to that. What do you think of these crazy people, Grammyo? Sir, they never agree. Yeah, they do. Did they wake the girl? Yes, but that's okay. I'll stay up for this. I'll go to bed later. No, you can't go back to sleep. You need to party together. <laughs> Tranio, you missed your shot, like everybody else who wanted Bianca. You said you made me get her for him. That's a good way to put it. It's nice you found that chick. Does she treat you well? Or is she hunting you? Patricia, you better watch out for Tranio. Thanks for that unnecessary comment. Be honest, did he offend you? Okay, to be honest, yes. He irritated me. The insult bounced off me and killed both of you. I think my son has the worst girl of all. I don't think so. Let's make a bet to see which one's chick is most obedient. The guy's wife who comes first wins the bat. How much are we betting? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars? My animals may be worth that, but my wife certainly is not. A hundred dollars then! Deal! Fine, deal. Who's the lucky one who gets to go first? I'll go. Bayondelo, get my wife. Will do. I'm so sure Bianca will come. I'll split the bet with you. I'll bet 100% she comes. What's the news? She's busy, she will not come. That's not an answer. It is. You better start praying your wife comes. I hope so. Sarah, Biandello, <coughs> please get my wife. Ask her to come to me. Huh. Will do. If you ask nice enough, of course she'll come. She's not coming. I'm afraid, sir. Do what you can. Yours won't even stand being asked. Where's my wife? She says you two are joking and she's not coming. That's horrible that she says she will not come. She's very intolerable and cannot be endured. Mr. Grumio, go to her and say that I told you to tell her to come to me. I know what she'll say. And what will she say? She won't come. With the worst luck. Let's see what happens. By the grace of the Virgin Mary, here comes Catherine. Sir, what do you want? Where is your sister and Hortensio's wife? They're talking by the fire in front of the house. Go get them quickly. If they refuse, beat them until they agree. Now don't come back unless they are with you. Well, that dog there was their miracle. Yes, it is. I wonder what will happen now. Come on now. You know what will happen. Love, a nice life, respect, rightful submission, and everything else that is sweet and happy. I wish you the best of luck with your shoe. You have won the bet, and now because the others have lost, I will give you 20,000 crowns. And a wedding gift to my new daughter. No, thank you. I will win my bet in a better way. I will show you how obedient she is to me. See, here she comes now, with your wives. She has them like prisoners due to her persuasion. Now, Catherine, 
I don't like your hat. Throw it on the ground. Lord, don't ever use me like this again. As part of some stupid bet? Yes, I agree. Stupid and foolish opinions. I knew. Bianca, that was stupid. Your so-called wisdom, in this case, has cost me a hundred buckaroos since supper time. It's your fault, you idiot. Catherine, I really want you to tell these stubborn women what duty they owe their husbands. Just stop mocking us. We don't need to be told what to do. Tell them, Catherine, and begin with the widow. <laughs> no, she won't. If I tell her to, she will obey me. Now begin with the widow. I agree with my husband. An angry woman is like a nasty water fountain. It is muddy, unbecoming, and without beauty. No one want to take even one drop of water from that fountain. Your husband is your lord, your life, your keeper, and the head of your household. Sovereign, someone who cares for you. You, For you, he is willing to go through painful labor on sea and land. He will watch for the storms of life even during the most freezing of days. Now, while all this happens, he is still protecting you. Where are you? Aren't you home all warm and safe? And does this why for your love, for your look, and obedience? I believe that is asking too little of you for such an amazing large debt. A woman owes her husband like a subject owes his prince. When she is peevish and cruel and rude as well as not obedient to him, she is a rebel and graceless traitor to her loving lord. I am ashamed that women are so stupid. They want to wage a war with their husbands when they should be offering peace and seek for such rule of power. After all, they are bound to him to, and they should serve, love, and obey. Our bodies, compared to men, are soft, weak, and smooth. Aren't they unsuited for the toil in this world? Our qualities and hearts should agree with our outer appearances. Come on now, you helpless worms. My will has been important as yours. My courage is big and reasons larger. To trade word for word and frown for frown, but now I see that our swords are but straws. Our strength is weak. Our weakness goes beyond all measure. So now stop being so prideful, because it's useless. And if your husband requests you to put your hands on the bottom of his foot as a sign of appreciation and duty, if he wills it, obey, even I am ready if it pleases him. Now there is a young woman. Come and kiss me, Kate. Well, go your way, old friend, for you have one. It's good to hear when children are confident and cooperative. But it is hard when women are not easily managed. Let's go, Kate. We'll go to bed. All three of us are married, but you two are done for. I won the wager, but you hit the bullseye. And because you are also a winner, may God give you a good night. Now go your way. You have tamed a wicked shrew. It is a miracle that because of you, she was tamed. All we ever do is sit down and eat. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I think Hortensio is afraid of you. It's smart to be afraid of me. It's normal to be afraid when you're married to someone like you are. Wow. You pick you off? Yes, but it's okay. <laughs> you feel me. I'm so- I agree with my husband. Stop looking so angry and looking at your Lord King Governor with eyes that hurt and want to kill. Your beauty is being blocked by your anger and you're ruining your reputation. You are acting very inappropriately and it's not a <laughs> I can't do this. Okay, sure you can. Oh, my bad. It's pretty embarrassing. My bad. Wait, so what are those doing? Those do look better. Put the other ones on. Ian, I need to, I'm the director. I need to see what they look like. No, 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 no. Those are better. Oh, oh, 20 buckaroos on that puppy of a puppy of a bet. No, no, no. Yeah, I do. Well, that's what you heard. Hey, Sean. Hey. Oh, yeah. I should not be uh, filming this. Uh, oh, you see what it looks like. <laughs>